Right, hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jims McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, 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 we are here, Friday Night Stand Firm, and I am Gorilla Metso. I'm calling this one live from <laughs> Birmingham, Alabama, Ugh, good lord, <laughs> dirty south, home of Tony plays poorly, I believe, lives yeah. somewhere down in that cesspool, but now it is time for Stand Firm, and look at this, we've got... Oh, uh, gosh, really? All right, <laughs> well, I'm being told that, of all people, Flicky Flack is coming to the ring to talk about his career a little bit <laughs> and his intentions for the JFW. So, uh, get some Ooh. coffee, folks. <laughs> and I've just realized, Guru, I didn't put in my uh, headphones and stuff for this, so... Well, too late now, huh? Yeah, I'll we'll have to do it after this promo. I'll just mute myself so it's okay. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll cover the, the promo. I'll sit through Flicky Flack. So not only will Flicky Flack bore the shit out of you, but he'll also sound like garbage right now because the mic will be terrible. No, no, he'll, he'll sound fine. He'll sound fine because I'm muted. Okay. Well, here he comes to the ring right now. At least we don't have to watch his full intro. Uh, look at that. There he is, the man himself, the heavyweight. Flicky Flack lost his title chance, well, his title match against Tony Plays Poorly. But let's see what's on his mind tonight. Hi, I'm Flicky Flack. And I'm pissed off because I think that I deserve another shot at Tony Plays Poorly's heavyweight championship belt. It's mine by rights. I'm the tallest man compared to anyone else in this ring right now and a few other people backstage. And I'm a good wrestler. I put on a hell of a show every time I wrestle. I'm charismatic. I could be the face of this company. Look at my face. It's perfect. Everyone wants to hear what I have to say. And if you want to read more, go to www.flickyflackfacts.com to see my PowerPoint presentation about why I deserve that title. And there's no one else backstage that can lay claim to that. No one at all. No one at all, I'll say again, for emphasis to ensure that I get no inter... I've been interrupted. And look at that, folks. That is Damn Dave's music hitting. What the hell is he doing out here? Damn Dave coming to ringside to challenge Flicky Flack on the mic. Well, this is going to be... a. Uh... <laughs> This is going to be something, that's for sure. Damn Dave is in the house. The fan favorite cannot wait to hear what he's got to say. He's been on a bit of a tear recently, winning that 10-man Royal Rumble to keep his job, thinking that should project him into greater things. Let's get back to ringside. Well, first of all, Flicky Flack, I gotta come down here and set one thing straight. If you think there's anyone in backstage who can't hang with you, you're mistaken because I was just backstage. And even though I'm not now, you need to prepare to contend with the fury of Dave. I'm going to have to stop you there, Dave. I don't understand what you're doing out here, Dave. I know this sounds like a 2001 reference, but it's not, Dave. I can't help you with that. Why would you interrupt my promo? I'm out here addressing the JFW universe, and I'm very disappointed that you would cut me off just to steal mic time. It's not about your mic time. It's not about anything. It's about what's right and wrong. And I'm going to tell you right now, you've got an ass kicking brewing for me. And you know exactly what you did, Flicky Flack. 
Don't even try and deny it. I heard your words, and soon the whole JFW is going to hear the words you said to slight the fan favorite, to slight the man, to slight... I'm going to have to interrupt you again, Dave. I don't want to listen to this anymore. I'm here to talk, and there was supposed to be my time, not our time, to share the ring. If you want to start something with me, that's different. But what is this you're even talking about? I don't even know what you think I said. No, of course you don't think you know what you said, but I've got it on tape. Hey, production man, let's roll that tape for Dave right now as soon as you can figure out how to switch your OBS over to show it. Well, Dave was trying to Right get, now, um, please, production it, guy, there. With, uh, ...with Flicky Flack the other night when I was fighting for my title shot. Um... But I didn't even get involved. There's no point. He's a, a substandard wrestler and he's going to get fired tonight anyway. So there's really no point in me getting anything going with him. He's gone. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Wow. You were spying on my Blood Bowl streams. I'm glad someone watches them at very least. That's right, you motherfucker! If you think you can slander Dave like that, you got another thing coming. You were wrong about me in that Royal Rumble. I won it, and I get the glory of keeping my job, but who cares? So now, you better watch your back, son, because I'm gunning for you. You ain't getting another shot at that championship title because it belongs to Dave. Now, I'm going to have to interrupt you again, Dave. I don't need to hear you say your name over and over again. No one does. It's very boring. I don't enjoy it. No one finds you interesting in any way. You toothless jerk. How dare you? How dare you? And that's all I've got to say to you. So there. No, I'm going to keep talking because fuck you. That's right. I swore. I can do it. I'm tough. And now I'm going to leave the ring. And oh my goodness. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> Flicky Flack all over damn Dave at the end there. Taking the win. But Dave with that footage. What slander by Flicky Flack. Saying that without Dave present. I think there's fireworks brewing between those two. Yeah, unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah, sure was. <laughs> <laughs> right, I can miss about with the mute with the sound now. Um. All right. Well, we've got some in-ring action. The heart and soul of the JFW, the unnatural snackers, one-on-one -on -one against Dance Dance Revolution, set to open this show next uh, in, for in-ring action. Two on two, and isn't these it? guys, two, two, two on two, gorilla, not one on one. <laughs> One tag team on, one tag team. <laughs> Shut up, Jim. <laughs> and there they are. The Snackers have been feuding recently with former friends Mighty AF, getting all sorts of trouble from it. Johnny Five actually had a, uh, a, 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 a title shot last week on Friday, Stand Firm, interrupted by a shit run-in by none other than, than Skuramezzo. Uh, who I have been told has been banned from the arena tonight, as has has have all shit members. Uh, but we'll see if that can actually keep them out. But right now, it is Donsk Donsk Revolution versus the Unnatural Snackers. Yep. <laughs> right. Haven't seen a whole in Skirmetso's High Intensity Tournament next Wednesday against a mystery opponent should be a doozy. Someone who has never wrestled in the JFW or anywhere else televised here on Jimmy Fantastic Twitch. Glorious. Um, right, everything should be alright now as, as far as sound's concerned. 
Um, might not have heard a bit of uh, a gorilla there, but he should be all right. And yeah, PTK put fighting in in shit. That's glorious, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> opening round, he's uh, facing someone. I've, all I've been told is uh, they are very like-minded individuals. I'm I'm curious to see what that yields. <laughs> Very interesting, and uh, oh dear, fluffy burrito, uh, rogue. I don't like the rogue. I, I like the rogue start, but I don't like it when it stops you getting a wizard. But then, it doesn't matter if you're all a blitz. <laughs> all right, let's get to the snackers, the heart and soul of the JFW. They're here, they're hungry, mm -hmm. and Dansk Dansk Revolution has everything to fear. Yeah, they're hungry for victory. Clever, isn't it? Yeah, those, uh, those two heads titles have eluded them their entire careers in the JFW, but they've come as close as anyone, and I just think they just need one more match to really hammer home their dominance and get those belts around their waist maybe not around their waist they're very big men but at least over their shoulders like all the big guys in the wwe have to do <laughs> yeah yeah and hardly anybody wears a belt anymore do they who started that brock probably yeah i mean brock actually brock definitely wears it from time to time and a ko always slung it Yeah, except all the teams that have won it, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, there's a cutscene here. Mm. Interesting, you don't see that every time, do you? No, I sure, sure don't. Very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, uh, weird struggles for Z-Talk early on here. Looking a little uh, looking a little rough here against Satterfield, getting stomped on. And then, oof, big suplex coming. Uh, nice sit down. <laughs> oh, big miss from Z-Talk. Oh, but he counters there, gets that knee up, and, uh, oh, he just can't match power with Satterfield right now. Maybe he needs to think about getting PTK in there against the big man. Yeah. Yeah, the graphics are all weird because I made them, I turned them down yeah, to do the... Yeah, it looks the, like garbage. <laughs> yeah, I turned them down to do the uh, rumble, and they're, they're not on the right settings anymore. I guess I should. That's all right. Uh, the quality of the uh, video feed will probably match the quality of this uh, JFW presentation. I mean, we can't all be a shit Wednesday night now, can we, Jim? No, no. I mean, who would want to be a shit Wednesday? Who would want their show to be shit? Doesn't make any sense, does it, Gorilla? Well, I got to believe the hordes and hordes of uh, up-and-coming shitheads that have been <laughs> flocking to the Wednesday night broadcast would disagree with you there. <laughs> but, hey, I'm not going to take it from the opinion of a man who can't even hang with Mega Man. <laughs> shitheads. <laughs> shitheads is brilliant, by the way. Hang <laughs> out, that promo, the promo from Skuro. See you later, <laughs> shitheads. <laughs> oh, look at this, the Z Talk fired up, looking a lot. Uh, I don't even know what he does. No, I don't know. Oh, I guess I do. That seems unrealistic. Some display <laughs> of power and the standing moonsault lands it, but J5's going to be right there to break this up. J5 oh, couldn't be bothered, but didn't need to be bothered. Satterfield kicks out on his own. I feel like that would have been better for PTK to do. <laughs> Z-Tog. <laughs> Freakishly strong, isn't he, Z-Tog? Yeah. It's corded <laughs> muscle, Jim. He's like Bruce Lee. All right. 
<laughs> and just J5 just laying in the PTK. Oh no, but he's quick. Gets him back that underhooks body slam there. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Corporate air. Frosty knows what's up. Hashtag Monday and Friday for life. Glorious. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that a corporate AF member <laughs> would be championing Monday and Friday, <laughs> considering their their roster takes up pretty much the entire uh, <laughs> the entire show. <laughs> oh dear! I tell you what, shit is the best wrestling show on TV anyway. If I can break <laughs> kayfabe for a second, it genuinely is. Isn't it? Well, you know how much I hate it when you do, but I'll still take the compliment. <laughs> Oh yeah. How can you break cafe when you've got a guy, a giant guy dressed as a pink bunny? <laughs> uh, I'm positive that uh, we have had a giant pink bunny in the WWE as well, sir. <laughs> really? In fact, I think Tom Strowman might have even played him once. <laughs> oh yeah, um, the uh, the people who went out of the ring with the uh, yeah. With uh, oh my God, top rope Johnny <laughs> cannot hey. hang up. Uh, no, Braun Strowman didn't play the bunny, but Braun Strowman's debut on TV on live TV <laughs> was uh, as one of Adam Rose's uh, entourage. Oh, and if wow. you Google Adam Rose Braun Strowman debut, you'll be very sad and never really look at. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, utter dominance by the the heart and soul of the JFW, the unnatural <laughs> snackers, winning easily over Don Stump's revolution, wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Top rope Johnny puts him away. Satterfield, oh, J wow. J5 getting a very good look at Satterfield's ass for a moment there. <laughs> Well, well, that was go. that was nothing to write home about. This show's gonna last about eighteen more minutes, folks. Yep. Oh dear. <laughs> Stick a fork in them, they're done. <laughs> oh Gengar. And now we've got just Joe versus Bleeding Hippie. Yeah, that's right. The Plim Plom Pluserweight Champion, Just Joe, the uh the newest member of Mighty AF. Going one on one with Bleeding Hippie, always a top guy in the Plim Plom Pluserweight division, needs to climb back up there. And hell, you beat the champ. That's one way to do it, Jim. Yeah. And yeah, Joe was attacked uh, last week, wasn't he? In shit. By shitheads. So I yeah, don't know he, how. What yeah, shape Muppet Pac Man. Be. Muppet Pac Man, former Plim Plom Pluserweight champion, uh, wrongfully put into a match, in my opinion, in which in which he wasn't prepared for. Losing to Just Joe, losing his title, and then fired for his trouble. Well, you know, he jumped him backstage, took him out of last night's, or last week's match. But Joe's looking pretty good. He's here tonight, and he's got the, the fucking wizard <laughs> leading hippie to contend with. <laughs> And this is always an entrance. No matter what you think of the guy, you gotta love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. I'll never get old with it. Yeah. Oh, wait, boy. wait a second. Oh, no. That's Muppet Pac-Man. He's back. He's gotten by security. He's in with a chair. And he's jumping just Joe. Oh, he gets him in the kidney with that chair. The belt falling to the ramp. And Muppet Pac-Man is here. He is pissed off. And he's going right after Just Joe. <laughs> oh, no, but uh, no, sent into the fans there almost. And Just Joe coming back. These two, there's some bad blood between these two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and oh, Just boy. Joe seems to have recovered from that opening chair shot. And yeah. now the battle on the ramp teetering here because oh, they don't really know. What the oh, Oh, the DDT on that metal ramp, though. You hate to see it. Oh, oh. On the head. And Muppet seems to have recovered. Can he stay on top here? <laughs> oh, hits that invisible wall. <laughs> oh, no, that's like 14 feet of uh, steel, Tony. <laughs> 
<laughs> Joe, just Joe thinks he's getting away from Muppet here, going into the ring. Muppet pursuing slowly. Just Joe flipped him off there. And here we go. Ref trying to call this. This is not a sanctioned match, but it looks like this is probably going to interrupt the scheduled match because of no reason. Yep. <laughs> Oh, oh, and Muppet sending. Oh, and Muppet dumps him to the outside. <laughs> He's going to claim victory on that one because he got st stand tall in a ring that he's no longer welcome in by the upper <laughs> management. But I don't think he gives a fuck about that. No. Wow. And shit has arrived, folks. Muppet Pac Man will not let it go. What Joe, uh, really, of no fault of Joe's, did. <laughs> But he took his title, and now uh, the action is going to continue with a triple threat. W.R. Spenny, Odontakellis, and some fucking dickhead who shouts his name a lot. That isn't Dave. <laughs> oh, boy. What a debut this is going to be. <laughs> yep. Most of these people are probably have this guy blocked in Twitch, but uh, if you don't know him, his name is Dimmy G. And if you do know him... You don't need me to say anything more. <laughs> Dimmy. <laughs> is the music still playing for you as well? Sure is. I hope it's not going to play for the entirety of the broadcast. Yeah, I mean, it's a good song. It is, yeah. But... That's right, his music defying all of the reputation he's been building. Muppet Pac-Man does not give a fuck about his bad reputation. Oh boy. <laughs> the Essex Rattlesnake. <laughs> Timmy 3 plus 1 equals 6. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, quite possibly the cleverest thing you've ever done. <laughs> yeah, quite, quite I can't possibly. figure out his body type. Yeah, it's it's impressive, isn't it? Uh, that's not the word I was gonna go for. <laughs> Generally speaking, when you have, like, you know, bench press pecs, they don't grow on the outside of the layer of fat underneath them. <laughs> it's Dimmy. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, speaking of weird-ass muscles, here comes W.R. Spenny's legs with the rest of him attached, and he is coming straight into the ring. That's W.R. Spenny. He is the leader of and one-third of the crew that CR capital E W E. It's a sheep thing because he's Welsh and they fuck sheep. You get it, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> dear me. <laughs> oh no. Dimi, 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 oh la la. <laughs> oh la la. <laughs> Thank you very much, Frosty. <laughs> yeah, Chief. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, don't. All right, but here's my pick for this one. Oh, don't the Kellis. He sure does need to turn things around, folks. Uh, yeah, former world heavyweight champion wants to get back up there. But every single week that goes by, it slips a bit further away from his grasp. This triple threat is really going to be a, uh, a saving grace for him if he can win it. Try and get back up into the ranks of those guys like Dave and Flicky Flack to make the argument that he is the only one who can take out Tony Plays poorly and take that belt away from Mighty AF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I <19. laughs> 
Ugh. And here we go, triple threat. This is one pinfall to win it. Will it be the leader of the crew? That's CR Capital E W E. Will it be Demi G, or will it be Odonte Kellis, who just gets leveled by Demi on that running knee, and Demi over for the neckbreaker, and he is fired up for his debut. <laughs> that, was, that ended quick with that punch. <laughs> he got dropped instantly. Uh, this actually isn't the first pin because uh, Jim McMahon, Mr. Jim McMahon, anticipated this being a rather quick night, so he made this an uh, an elimination match to uh, to pad the show a little bit. Well, fair enough. <laughs> G5, what the hell? Spenny just likes to watch here. <laughs> so yeah, this will be this will be a, a what what's the word? Elimination. Yeah. Yeah, well, the uh, Lemon, to answer your concerns there, I will point out that by the end of the night, every single JFW heavyweight that's currently active on the roster will have wrestled. That division got a bit pilfered um, with the firings and with everything else that's gone on and uh, definitely needs to uh, spruce things up a little bit. Demi being a uh, somewhat welcome addition, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say he's a welcome addition because no one wants to see him, but he's here and he is a warm body for these other two much better wrestlers to beat the tar out of. <laughs> Timmy wants to see him. So at least there's one person who wants to see him. <laughs> that, that's what he asked for, Alan, right? and that's why he looks like that. Uh, yeah, and I do, but you're in the tag division as well, aren't you? So... Yeah, I mean that's true. We don't we don't we don't often think of the uh, the weight classes of our tag division folks. That is fair. Yeah. Oof, and uh, Demi really taking oh, taking those big leg kicks from uh, W R Spenny. That's the part of his body you want least inserted into you. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'd make the obvious sex joke, but he is Welsh, though, and we're not cheap, so. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello, the savior. Oh, God, look at this. Look at the power of Odont. Brutal elbow. Right to the heart of Dimmy G. Yeah, two elbows dropped by the shelled one. And now, oh, that big spine buster. And then he gets kicked to the gut for his trouble. <laughs> Timmy looks pretty fucked. <laughs> oh, yeah, but he is. is. Oh, he the was able to skirt the Adonta bomb, though. Oh, well, <laughs> Jesus, Timmy. <laughs> Tried to punch a turtle in the shell, failed. But now Spenny takes the Adonta bomb, but not getting pinned. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe he is now. Was that enough of a break, or is this it for the leader of the crew that CR Capital E W E? He does kick out. <laughs> Timmy and Massa, the dream team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could call it like we like one of these two guys. That could be the name of their tag team. Such oh, the Boston Crab! We've by never Jimmy. seen this end matches before, and I think that's attacking his strong point, isn't it? There, going for a move on his legs. Yeah, yeah, trying to stretch the legs. I mean, again, a guy who thinks three plus one is six, <laughs> maybe, maybe needs to pick the uh, the weak point there instead of the eight. You know, like eighty percent of his body mass. <laughs> Oh, only a one count there. Oh. Bit of brain worms here. Oh, and here's the comeback for Spenny. No, he's just going to run the ropes. He's going to run the ropes and hang on while Adonta Kell is just teeing off on Demi G right now. Oh, but Spenny looking to sneak in a finish. No, nope, maybe not. <laughs> Looked like he was lining up a spear, didn't it? Oh, Dimmy busts open Odont. Yeah, sure did. Odont in some trouble here. 
smartly run blah, rolls out of the ring, and now the lockup by Spenny. Oh no, <laughs> Dimmy too quick for him. Gets him on those ropes, and now he's gonna run into him and yep, do his kicky thing. <laughs> Oh boy. Dimmy's uh, doing a good job here, funnily enough, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he, he has definitely been present in the ring. <laughs> Again, going oh. for that busted crap. Yeah, Duck has to break it up to duck under that clothesline there. Adon, oh no, I thought he was calling for another Adonta bomb. <laughs> Instead, it's a savage massage. Yep, ref making sure we can't see anything with the hard cam. <laughs> Dimmy counters out of it, but he's, he's hurt. Everyone's hurt right now. Yep. <laughs> I know, we're just all, everyone's going to punch wildly and hope to hit someone. Yep. Oh, oh so Stone stutter, Cold Dumber. The stutter on O'Donnell. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stone Cold Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> No, Dante Callis eliminated from this now. Uh, I mean, I guess, thankfully, it's a fucking elimination match. And Jimmy didn't just fucking win it. But... <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, Jim, have you ever uh, noticed the chairs that stand firm are a little bit ridiculous? This just happened. I don't know how. Oh, okay. I was going to say, isn't it supposed to be the full logo? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's displaying it at full size. Yeah, it's just gone wrong just today. I've, I'm, uh, I'm guessing it was because they, they must have deleted, the, you know, when I was deleting the ones that weren't used, they must have deleted the ones that were on the chair, or like must have changed how they were the one that was on the chair. All right, so now we are down to two. WR Spenny hammering <laughs> Dimmy G, but the next pinfall will win this match. Oh, so Spenny yes, looking this... to end it with the gore here. Yeah. No. Oh. The gore. No, oh, he gets countered. <laughs> countered into a DDT by <laughs> by Dimmy G. <laughs> Should have even beat you as a stand for a very good puzzle. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> this could be it because uh, Spenny's taken the Adonta bomb. Oh my god, it was nearly one, two, three. <laughs> oh man, he's going to do it. <laughs> hey, Donna. Oh uh, yeah, here comes the dumber. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, he kicks out. <laughs> well, I was going to be losing my core commentator there. <laughs> that was the kick out. <laughs> oh, boy. Timmy's going to fly. Oh, what a maneuver. <laughs> Vicious neck crank. <laughs> yes, <that's all. laughs> oh, he's cheating. Yeah, the dirty pin. No, he still kicks out. I gotta say, I think I hate more more than my hatred of just Dimmy in general, as a <laughs> in the general existence of Dimmy G. The uh, the fact that we have this joke of a wrestler doing the finishing move of our the face of the JFW yeah. with poorly. It's yeah. pretty garbage. Yeah, yeah. Well, to be honest, I was going to change it before he was in, and then I just added him, well, you know, during the stream today. So that's why it was all a bit wrong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have kept it to be honest for the proper shows. The stratisfaction. There you go. Hey, where the fuck did you get that from? That's not yours. Again? Yes, he's just going to get Trish's moves. In fact. That's the one. He's getting all of Trisha's moves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's it, humorous Jim. Sorry, I had to chase a dog down that had something that did not belong to them. Oh. 
Whoa, he's tossed him off. Yeah, no, no, we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that to be a thing. Give me that egg back. <laughs> no, it wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. Uh, they were running around the yard with one of my fiance's bras. Oh, dear. They had taken out of something. <laughs> not, not one of your bras, then. <laughs> no, 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 not one of mine. I don't think they could lift mine. And the turn, for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! <laughs> oh, dear. Well, this match is still going on, folks. Yeah. Woof. <laughs> Yeah, Ember Moon. Yeah, I thought about Ember Moon, actually. Let's <laughs> go on deadlift in this part. Uh, you can sign up for my OnlyFans. Lemon is good. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> How is this match still going? What an epic fucking clash this is. It is definitely a long clash, yes. I agree with one half of the words you said. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's it's time for the goal. Boom! Oh, he sticks Nails the landing it. on that one, and here's the pin. Ref taking all day to count it. <laughs> Thank Gets him. All right, well, that's over. Congratulations, WR Spending, the leader of the crew at CR Capital E. WE getting the big win. And they have been quietly on a little bit of a tear recently, defeating the Norse country <laughs> uh, in their Hell in a Cell match. Winning here, looking pretty good. Bright future for WR Spending and the crew at CR Capital E, WE. Because it's like you, like a cheap thing, because they're Welsh and they fuck sheep. Do you get the joke yet? <laughs> yep. Everyone gets the joke, Gorilla. I'm just making sure. I don't want anyone to feel left out, Jim. Everyone gets, everyone gets. Oh, good. Jim McMahon is about to lose to, lose to himself in a rap battle here. <laughs> I wonder what's going on in his mind. I'm sure it's all coming up roses for him in corporate AF, but uh, let's uh, let's hear what the big boss has to say. Yeah. <laughs> I did not sanction any of this, folks. Just uh, just so we all are clear on the next five minutes of our lives. <laughs> well, I wonder what Mr. Jims has to say for himself. I'm pretty sure it won't be too long because he's only making this because the game decided that there should be two <laughs> promos. <laughs> well, God damn it! I'm only out here tonight because the game decided there should be two promos. So, <laughs> all I've got to say is next up is the main event. It's a triple, no, not a triple, a handicap. Triple handicap. Triple man handicap. All of Mighty AF. Beating the shit out of Unseen Walker. Because I know he's been up to something. Moonlighting over there at shit. Well, I tell you what, all these shitheads, if I find them, I'm going to send my boys out there to invade shit. If they're going to come around here, that Muppet, asshole Muppet Pac-Man, beating the crap out of just Joe. Well, how about my goals? My guys go over there and kick the shit out of their guys. Yeah. So that's it. See ya. Well, looks like retribution uh, for shit's uh, interference in the JFW coming apart now. Unseen Walker, who won his first round shit match over, of all people, co-founder Tarsus in a heck of a match, a submission match, getting put in a three-on-one tornado tag handicap match against a mighty AF. That's Frost Lord Army. Tony plays poorly. And Clavius, this is just... This is absurd. Who wants to see this as a main event, folks? Uh, I don't know. Probably everybody. You know, Mr. Jims says everything, doesn't he? He's, he knows his stuff, does Mr. Jims. I wouldn't argue with him. 
Would you? Well, yeah, I mean, I understand that you're bound by a, a, a more limited contract than I am because your team does unnecessary, whereas <laughs> my presence on these broadcasts is uh, vital to the organization. So I feel I have a little more leeway to say what I want. And I got to say right now, if I were coming to a show and I didn't know what my main event was going to be, and I paid money to see three men beat the tar out of one poor Scottish Mexican dude, I'd be pretty upset. But let's see what Unseen Walker can bring to the table in this three-on-one handicap match. Yeah. Let's hope he can do something. Make, give the crowd, give the fans a good show, as long as it's what Jim's wants them to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, by crowds, you mean Jim's jerking off backstage over one viewing monitor. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> God, this has taken so long to load. Yeah, no kidding. The game doesn't even want to run this bullshit match, Jim. <laughs> and here we go. Let's get to ringside. Tornado fucking handicap match three on one glorious that is not the word i would apply to this <laughs> uh, no humans jim once the game's added them you can't change you can't take them out and oh, look at boy. that making making sure all the alleyways were clear of all members of shit they're coming out of the crowd as always. You're looking at a lot of gold there, folks. The world heavyweight champion, Tony plays poorly. The two heads champions, uh, Clavius and Frost Lord. They are hashtag mighty AF, hashtag corporate AF, whatever you want to call them. They are Mr. Jim Smith, man's favorite play things, and they get the main events. They get all the booking. Yeah, better just live with it because, uh, well, I don't see any other options. Oh, wait, or do I? If you don't like what you're seeing from Mighty AF and what you're seeing from the bookers, bookers you can always head over Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. UTC, right here for some weird reason on Jimmy Fantastic's <laughs> Twitch stream for Skirmetto's High Intensity Tournament. Shit. We are still in round one. The action is fast and furious, and every single wrestler book there gets a say in their future. They all have a chance to win. They don't just promote the guys who sell the T-shirts and call it a day. But that's neither here nor there, because that's there and we're here, and it's Mighty AF beating the fuck out of Unseen Walker for your main events. Yeah. And here he comes, marching right out of the out of the ramp. <laughs> the absolute badass, unseen walker, no stranger to adversity, growing up on the mean streets of Inverness and then moving to Mexico City <laughs> to peddle his uh, to peddle his haggis tacos, a uh, very niche market. But he's decided to lift some weights and get into the ass-kicking business. And he has kicked a fair few asses. He is a former world heavyweight champion, though we all forget it because the match where he lost it was so terrible. <laughs> we re always remember his invisible hat, though. <laughs> the invisible hat, the secret to his success? We'll have to wait and see. Here we go, though. Let's get started. He's throwing up the horns. He's ready to rumble. Three on one beatdown coming. Can Unseen Walker withstand? Hashtag corporate AF. Oh, God, yeah. This, we've got incredible backstories, haven't we? Yeah, I, I forgot about this. I, I totally forgot. forgot about this. No offense, Lemon. Oh, yeah. oh, wait a second. Wait a Whoa. second. Oh, that is a man that no one wants to see around these parts right now. That's co-founder of shit, Tarsus, showing up right now. Looks like shit has made it into the building. Looks like shit's heading to the ring. And you know what? This is a handicap match. There's no DQs. There's nothing. 
to stop them from just being out here and fighting, I think all of a sudden we're getting a two on three match and one of and one half of of that team is a Mexican luchador super heavyweight. Tarsus. <laughs> Incredible that they, they queued up his music and everything, wasn't it? Well, we know shit can do some hacking, Jim. They've been hacking feeds for... Wait a second. <laughs> what is going on here? That's the king's music, and there he is, the king of kings. Skrametso. He says it's 420, but he didn't forget his match. It's actually 520 now <laughs> where I am. Hurry the fuck up so I can go get high. And also, he forgot to uh, he forgot to wear his shit entrance mu entrance. But oh, that's okay. You stupid son of a bitch, Jim. But that's okay because he's got his shit in ring gear, which is the important thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> because he just he was gonna do the running, didn't he? So he didn't bother changing his first one. No, fair enough. Yeah, but he's gonna do a quick change in the ring for some weird reason. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, forgot to do that, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, no access to a proper uh, changing room. You can't really blame them, but... So he'll just change in the ring, miraculously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we need Skuro versus Bezel at some point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're good to that. <laughs> Well, he is here. I don't see Mr. Jim McMahon running out to stop this. I don't think he wants to uh, piss off the the co-founders of shit any more than he already seems to have. <laughs> but they're here tonight to back up their guy. Now, interestingly, Unseen Walker is just a JFW wrestler who was added in to the shit tournament. Oh, and, and there, what is Walker doing? Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go top rope against Tony when he hasn't taken any damage. A big mistake. Unseen Walker showed up, ejected Tarsus from the first round with a hell of a win in a submission match. And if you haven't seen that, head to www.jimmyfantastic.com or go to YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic. You can find all of the shit action. The last two and first two episodes of shit are there on YouTube, I think. Yes, they are. Good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I guess I don't know why uh, Mr. McMahon picked Unseen Walker to uh, <laughs> to take out his iron, but he is. But now he's got some backup, and Tarsus and Skurametso are currently getting worked over by the tag champs. Yeah, this is a pretty pretty dominating so far from Mighty AF. That's probably because. Stand firm is better than shit. <laughs> I don't even believe it. I don't know why I can do this. I know. You can just tell how insincere you are trying to say it. But hey, you got to <laughs> tow the company line. I get you. Yeah. Oh, but here comes Tarsus and Unseen Walker now. Skuro trying to recover against <laughs> Frostlord, but he's getting work. Out. Unseen Walker really not sure what to do with his life right now. <laughs> Skuro, oh, Skuro sending uh, Frostlord out. Wanted to go top rope there for a second. Oh, he still does. Oh, oh dear. Boy. Oh, this one's going to work out for him. Uh, not at all. But he just lands on his feet, luckily. <laughs> <laughs> he don't his done firm and shit. That's a, that's a good point. <laughs> oh. And the action splitting up here. We've got Skurametso versus Frostlord Army. Uh, Unseen Walker taking on Tony plays poorly in the ring. And then down below, Tarsus versus Calavius. Oh, that hanging neckbreaker by Skuro. Outside on that 10 feet of concrete. It's no 15 feet of concrete like we have at shit, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, dude, I just left my bezel. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's what's Clavius doing? Clavius going breaker. for his own neck breaker there on Unseen Walker. Oh, the pose from Clavius. Yep. Oh, and Skuro, huge lariat there, taking down the big man. <laughs> and he got annihilated. Sure did. But hey, you know what? 
even if this is an even match, you've got Tony plays poorly standing in the middle of the ring. We don't see him lose matches often. He gives up sometimes, but that's about it. Oh, Samoan drop on the outside there. Tarsus going top rope. This doesn't look like it's going to be coordinated well. <laughs> Nine ticks. I haven't seen Walker. Well, you know, in fairness, he probably doesn't owe uh, Unseen Walker too many more favors. <laughs> he did eject him from his own tournament. Oh, and look at this. Oh, oh he's going for that half Boston <laughs> Crab. We've seen that in matches before, folks. <laughs> Sending a little message up the ranks. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, I don't think you could ever get them fixed, Lemon, no. He just wouldn't be Clavius, would he, with fixed eyebrows? And now, Mighty AF standing tall. Oh, no, Unseen Walker busted open. Skuro oh. taking a rest on the outside. Oh, wow. Dominant stuff right now oh. by Mighty AF. Oh. Oh. oh, and here comes that arc lay. Oh, oh no, no. Countered, countered by Unseen Skuro back in the ring here, quick. And he takes out. <laughs> wow, he's really got it in for Frostlord tonight. <laughs> Doesn't hasn't gone anywhere near Tony plays poorly. <laughs> no, he's, he's, they called him the cerebral assassin, don't they, Skuramento? Yeah, apparently, and he's got that chin lock in on Frostlord, and and, and uh, Unseen Walker seeing it and going after Clavius the same way, and now. Now there they are, the first punch is Scaramezzo. Oh, oh, look what he's got in store for Tony Plays Poorly. The pop-up powerbomb going right into the pin. No way. Could it be? No, it can't be because everyone else there. <laughs> that would have been too perfect. <laughs> it would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah. But Scaramezzo is single-handedly taking on Mighty AF right now. <laughs> Nope, not not so single-handed. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking on might be a stretch right now, but yeah, he's, he's there in the ring. Oh, oh <laughs> man, misses move. with a kick. I don't know how that happened, but it did. <laughs> Tarsus back in to back up his co-founder, and now Tony plays poorly, going right after Scuro. <laughs> oh, oh, but uh, Tarsus well, trying to penetrate Tony here. The ref not counting. Ref refusing to count. <laughs> ref refusing to count. Come on, ref. Good job, ref. Unbelievable. Can't, these, can't let these shitheads win. Oh, he's counting now, though. Just yeah. the two count. Good job, Tony. The ref Clearly must have heard in his ear. <laughs> he's just wandering around the whole ring doing nothing. Oh boy, what a move by Tony. Tony's got a stunner uh, on the verge of a stunner, isn't he? I'm sure. Oh, he sure does. Skuro rolling out of the ring so he doesn't have to take it off. Oh, Tarsus, though, taking the last ride and now the stunner. Oh no, this looks bad for him. Real bad. Yep, he is down and here comes the pin. But oh, Unseen Walker's Walker right. right there. Yeah, Walker saving the match there. Tarsus took two finishers. Skuro <laughs> is outside of the ring and out of it. Tarsus battling back, though. Shit came to play tonight, Jim. They certainly did. Oh, but oh. here it is, the pedigree. Oh, the pedigree. The pedigree. I forgot that's his actual finisher. Yep. Skuro back zero. in the ring here to break this pin up, and he does. <laughs> I don't know who Nick Patrick oh, that is. Pump handle shoulder breaker coming by Skuro. Puts down Frostlord. And just throttling, just nailing his head into the ring there. Oh, Clavius, though. <laughs> what a beautiful drop kick to nobody. <laughs> oh, he breaks up the Skuro's attempt. Yep, and now Unseen Walker, the only one standing. Skuro's still in the ring, about to get his knee wrenched. Oh, look at this uh, by Walker. Uh, big uh, slam uh, on the big man. <laughs> And Walker bleeding from the forehead, not stopping the neck crank, moonwalking. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> strategies. Some would say Jim. Some would oh, say there we go. Worms, but... Gut wrench, uh, gut wrench, uh, uh, power slam there. Oh, look at over there. Tarsus getting yeah. that big. He, yeah, he's sending a power bomb of his own. 
And oh, now boy. this could be bad. Oh no, Skuro not to his feet quick enough. Tony going after the wrong target though. <laughs> and there's that half Boston crab again. <laughs> oh, could he make him tap? He could, could he make him tap? He could for Skuro about something. to get absolutely fucked in the tree of woe. And he does! He taps <laughs> out! Frostlord taps out! Tarsus wins the match! I don't know why they called that a win, because it, but hey, shit showed up, backed up Unseen Wonker, and they're victorious over Mighty AF, going to the, yeah, give up sometimes, Lemon. Look at that. <laughs> What a win for shit. And now Mr. Jim Smith man's got to be shaking in his boots a little bit. Can anything stop the dominance of shit? Find out <laughs> next week. My name is Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you, as always, for having me, Jim. I will see you on Monday Night Claw. And much more importantly, next Wednesday, 8 p.m. UTC for more round one action on shit. <laughs> Thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.